Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to EOSN for our continuing coverage of the playoffs for my NFL Play Along. We're going to be bringing you game three of the divisional round featuring the number three Carolina Panthers visiting the number one ranked Minnesota Vikings in the NFC. So just so you guys are up to date in our first divisional round, the Cincinnati Bengals upset the Arizona Cardinals with a final score there of 31-13. And then another upset when the Oakland Raiders beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Final score there was 29-25. to So that was a very ex exciting game. Hopefully we have more coming. All righty then. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. Close this. And close this. And we are going to take you to Minneapolis for the game. Okay. The away team is the Carolina Panthers. And the home team is the Minnesota Vikings. This These teams played only two weeks ago, and it was a very exciting matchup. The Vikings barely came out on top. Let's see if Teddy Bridgewater and company can continue this. Cam Newton versus Teddy Bridgewater. Here we go. Load settings. Oh wait, actually. Let's let's turn the game sound on and disable the crowd noise. So actually, yeah, let's let's keep it off. My bad. Alright. Flip the coin and away we go. Minnesota has won the coin toss and will receive the kickoff. So Graham Gano will get us started here tonight. Gano puts this one 65 yards, kicked off to the goal line. That's going to be a return by Cordell Peterson. Cordero P Patterson, return of 28 yards to the 28. 10 seconds come off the clock, and here comes the Vikings. Bridgewater, first play. Here we go, looking long. Here comes the pass rush, and he's sacked. Luke Keekley launches the pass rush, and A.J. Klein gets the sack, and it is... Second and 21, a huge loss there from their own 17. Here we go. Back to pass goes Bridgewater. Short pass, fires, and it's going to be caught by Kyle Rudolph. Rudolph has room to run. He's still going all the way to the 35, making it third and three. Great catch by Kyle Rudolph there. Bridgewater. Three, six, fires, and it's incomplete, and that'll bring up fourth and three from their own 35. So they will go three and out on the opening drive, and they will punt it away. Locke puts this one to the 29 yard, 25 yard line, and it's he's drilled, fumble, and the ball comes loose, recovered by Everson Griffin by Minnesota. And Minnesota has the ball on the Carolina 25. Let's read this just to get straight. Jeff Locke punts, travels 40 yards. The ball is returned zero yards by Ted Ginn. Looks like he drops a fair catch. Everson Griffin is there to recover it, and the Vikings have the ball. And this Minnesota Vikings crowd is going nuts right now. 13-10 left in the first quarter. Hand off to Peterson, goes around the outside. He's got two yards, and there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul, face mask on the defense, 15 yards, first down. So it'll be first and 10 from the 11. Hand off to Peterson. He goes around the outside, finds the sideline. Brought down at the two, just barely. Zach Line gives him a great block. Uh, for all you guys that are interested in this game, we are using Inside Sports in games. Dot org's Inside Blitz Football. Awesome game. Check it out. Um, in my other videos, we went through some instructions um, on the earlier videos. So if you kind of want to know how this game works, just go ahead and watch some earlier videos. Um, I think after the football season, um, we I will make a video where I just completely go through everything. And I can tell you to reference that video. Um, also, announcement. Tomo or sorry, not tomorrow. Yes, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting my dates mixed up. Tomorrow, we will be doing our first basketball video. I finally feel like I know that game well enough that I can shoot that. So, 
we will do that. Uh, it is now first or second and goal from the two. Here comes the pass rush. Bridgewater is sacked. Loss of 13. Star Lutele gets the pass rush going. Quan Short sacks him in all the way back at the 15. So it's third and 14 from the 15. Here we go. Bridgewater, medium pass, throws, incomplete, and that's going to bring in Blair Walsh for the go-ahead field goal. It is a 32-yarder. Kick is up, and he got 38. It's good, and Minnesota strikes first. 3-0. 10 seconds off the clock, 11.20 left to go. Walsh puts this one in the air to the two-yard line. It's going to be returned by Joe Webb. He really takes it out. Not stopped till the 30. Sorry, till the 32, a 30-yard gain. So now Cam Newton and company will come to the rescue. Jonathan Stewart gets the ball. He goes right through the center, breaks one loose, finds a hole, and he's gone. Gain of 12 on the play. First and 10 from their own 44. Tolbert, he'll get the ball this time. Goes right to the center. Gain of four. Chad Greenway can't stop him. And now it's second and six. Newton, short pass. Throws, knocked down by Harrison Smith. And that'll bring up third and six. Hand off, Jonathan Stewart. Stewart goes around the outside. He finds the sideline, and he's brought down just short of the first down. And it'll be fourth and one from the Minnesota 47. Nine minutes left on the clock, and here comes the punt team. Brad Nortman kicks this one into the end zone for a touchback. So 10 seconds off the clock, and Minnesota will start from their own 20. Bridgewater hands off to Jack McKinnon. McKinnon goes around the outside, finds the sideline, gets a block for Mike Harris, and that's a gain of eight on the play. Second and two coming up. Bridgewater, quick pass, throws. This one will be caught by Matt As Asita, and that is going to be first down for Minnesota. So just to let you know what happens now, winner of this game will host the Cincinnati Bengals in the NFC Championship game. That will be the er first game of our NFC Championship weekend. And then, of course, we'll be doing the AFC Championship weekend where the Oakland Raiders will be either visiting the division rival Seattle Seahawks or a, could it be another upset with the Houston Texans? That would be something. As you guys know, the Super Bowl is in Houston this year. All right. Pass rush. Pass rush. Bridgewater's down. Thomas Davis launches the pass rush. And Mario Addison gets the sack, another sack for the Carolina Panthers. Second and 16. Pass by Bridgewater, thrown. It's going to be caught by Jarek McKinnon for a gain of six, bringing up third and 10. Steps out of bounds. Bridgewater, medium pass, fires. This one will be caught by Stephon Diggs. Diggs, he's got room. He's still going all the way down. And... There is a flag on the play. A 33-yard pass could get negated here. Let's see what it is. Yep. Holding on the offense. 10 yards from the line of scrimmage. Repeat third down. So it'll now be third and 20. So a huge pass negated thanks to a holding penalty on the Minnesota Vikings. 10 seconds off the clock. Here we go. Another medium pass from Bridgewater. Fires. This one will be caught by Kyle Rudolph, but he is stopped just short of the first down. And it is now fourth and two. <coughs> All right. Here comes the punting team. Jeff Locke to punt for Minnesota. This one to the three-yard line. And it's only going to be returned another five yards, so it'll be the drive will start from their own eight. Good field position here for the defense. John the store, he gets the ball, goes right through the center. Gain of four, great block by Trey Turner. And I'll bring up second and six from their own 12. Here comes the pass rush, and Newton's down all the way back at the four. And that'll make it third and 14. Brad Robert, Brian Robs, Robson. Launches the pass rush. Daniel Hunter 
makes the sack for Minnesota. Newton, here comes the pass rush again. Rolls out, fires, and he's going to find his man, Devin Funches, for the first down. What a run and throw by Cam Newton. He eludes it, rolls out to the left, finds Funches, makes a great pass for the first down. All right, Newton, medium pass, fires. This one will be caught by Jericho Cotri for a gain of 16, and he steps out of bounds. Only takes 10 seconds off the clock. First and 10 from their own 47. Deep pass, Newton. Newton looking, looking. Can't find anyone, so he has to throw it away. Great coverage by the Minnesota Vikings defense there. All right, Newton. Here comes the pressure. He's going to scramble, and he's going, and he's going to get three yards on the play and steps out of bounds. First time we've seen him scramble this game. I guarantee you it won't be the last. Here we go. Newton. Back to pass, throws, and it's incomplete. Just missing Jericho Cotri for the first down, and that'll bring up fourth down from the 50. And here comes the punt. This one to the 13-yard line. No fair catch. He's going to run it, and he only gets one yard on the run. Marcus Sherls, and that'll make it first and 10 from their own 14. Peterson, he gets the ball. Goes around the outside. He's drilled. Kawan Short stuffs him out of bounds. Loss of two. Second and 12. Bridgewater back to pass. Throws. This one will be caught by Diggs, but only a gain of two on the play. Third and 10 coming up. Bridgewater back to pass. Throws. This one will be caught by Rudolph, but only a yard on the play, and that'll bring up fourth and nine from their own 15, and they will be punting it away. 120 left in the the first quarter. Here we go. Locke puts this one to the 46-yard line. Fair catch is made by Ted Ginn Jr. And there's a flag on the play. It's on the return team. Offsides. Sorry, yep. Offsides on the return team. Five-yard penalty. Repeat fourth down. So it is now fourth and four from their own 20. And it makes you wonder how do they feel about it. One ten, um, no time comes off the clock for the offsides and encroachment penalties. So, and here comes the punting team again. So they'll make them do it again, and they're gonna regret it as Locke drills this one a lot better this time. Ted Ginn Jr. is gonna get drilled for a loss of one, and that is going to be at the 29-yard line for Carolina. Okay, Newton. Quick pass, throws it away. Can't find anyone as they were barreling down on him. All right, Newton again. Long pass. Here comes the pass rush. He eludes it. He's running. He's taking off, and he's going to get two yards on the play, making it third and eight. Newton. Here comes the pass rush again. This time he steps aside, tries to throw it. Incomplete. Badly throw overthrows Cameron Artis Payne. For a short pass, it didn't really work out that way for him, and that will bring up fourth and eight from their own 31. And the punt team is on. Nortman puts this one to the 20-yard line. Marcus Steele's Shirelles is going to return it four yards, so they'll start from their own 24. And that will end the first quarter. After one, Minnesota leads this one 3-0. Winner gets Cincinnati in the NFC Championship game. All right, Bridgewater, back to pass, looking, looking, can't find anyone. He's going to have to throw it away, and he does. And there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul on the offense, loss of 15 yards, repeat first down. So they will start from their own 12, and it'll be now first, and first down, first and 22. All right, long pass by Bridgewater, throws. Roman Harper gets his hands on it just barely. Great job there. All right. Here we go again. Medium pass. Throws. Harper again. This time it wasn't just barely. He was all over it. Third and 22. Here comes the pass rush. He eludes it. Fires to Pruitt. And it's incomplete. Michael Pruitt had no chance to catch that one. And that will bring in the punter, punting unit. All right. 
Good punt by Locke to the 44. And this one will be returned one yard, so they'll start on their own 45. 3 nothing, Minnesota. 14-10 left in the half. Newton, short pass, incomplete. Sheriff Floyd with the defense. Good block by him. Newton thinking long pass. And no, it's not going to happen. It's Harrison Smith all over that one. And that'll make it third and ten. Hand off to Stewart. Stewart goes right through the center. And he's not going to break away as Tom Johnson brings him down. Only a gain of three. And that'll bring up fourth and seven from their own 48. And here comes Brad Nortman again. Nortman kicks this one into the end zone for the touchback. And we have a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Face mask on the kicking team. 15-yard penalty. First down, Minnesota. So they will get it from their own 35. So instead of starting from the 20, they'll start from the 35 because of the penalty. 10 seconds off the clock. 13 minutes to go in the half. Pitch to Adrian Pearson. Goes around the outside. He only gets one yard as Kyle Rudolph can't give him the block he needs. And that'll make it second and nine. Here we go. Hand off AP. Going to go around the outside. He finds five yards. P.J. Clemmings gives him a good block, setting up third and four from their own 41. Hand off. Adrian Peterson goes right through the center. He's got the first down. And that'll bring them to their own 45. Bridgewater, back to pass, throws, finds a wide open Stefan Diggs, gain of 19. And they are just outside of field goal range. Here we go. Peterson gets the ball, goes right through the center. Loss of one on the play. And that will set up. Second and 11. Pitches it to Peterson, goes around the outside, finds the sideline, and he's got eight yards on the play, bringing up third and three in field goal range for Walsh. Here goes Bridgewater. Quick pass, get finding one, so he throws it away, and instead of taking the sack that would have put them at a hard field goal, they'll get a much easier had he had because he threw that away. Nine or 8.50 left on the clock. Here comes Blair Walsh and the field goal team to attempt a 46-yarder. Kick is up, and it is good. Blair Walsh, his playoff struggles from last year seem to be behind him at this point in time as he has been perfect tonight. That'll take 10 seconds off the clock. And Walsh boots this one to the goal line. And that is going to be a return of 24 yards by Joe Webb. So they'll start at the 24. 6 nothing Minnesota. 8.30 left in the half. Stewart gets the ball, goes around the outside. He gets four yards and runs out of bounds. Second and six coming up. Stewart again, pitch to him. Goes around the outside, finds the sideline, and he's going. Gets the first down a whole lot more. Ends up making it a gain of eight, making it first and ten on their own 36. Here we go, Cam Newton in the back to pass. Here comes the pass rush, steps aside, will lose it, fires, finds Jericho Cotri, gain of 15 on the play, and they are in Minnesota territory. All right. Here goes, design run by Newton, goes right through the center, drilled by Sheriff Floyd for a loss of one. Second and 11 from the 50. Huge play there by Floyd. And here we go. Jonathan Stewart gets the ball, goes right through the center, and he finds the hole. He's gone. He's going to get the first down. Finally brought down at the 34, a 16-yard gain by Jonathan Stewart. And they're in field goal range for Graham Gano. Stewart gets the ball, goes right through the center, gain a four on the play, second and six coming up. Payne gets the ball, goes right through the center, and he's going to get a gain of three, bringing it to third and three. Inside the 30. Newton back to pass. Throws. Going for it all here. And it is in the end zone. Touchdown. Devin Funches has tied the game up. A 27-yard touchdown. And here comes Gano for the go-ahead extra point. Kick is up. And it's no good. I don't believe it. Graham Gano 
misses the extra point, and we are tied. Wow. So that was a 27-yard touchdown, so that's under 30 yards, so 20 seconds off the clock. And Gano cannot believe it. Neither can Ron Rivera. Gano puts this one in the end zone for the touchback, and just when you thought Carolina was about to start a run, Gano misses the extra point, and instead of being up by one, they're tied. That extra point could really come back and haunt them, much like it did the Patriots in the AFC title game last year. No return for the touchback. Four minutes left in the half. AP gets the ball, goes around the outside, finds the corner, he finds the sideline, keeps going, and it's not going to be brought down anytime soon. Finally brought down at the 42-yard line. Gain of 17 on the play. And here we go. Bridgewater back to pass. Looking, looking. Here comes the pressure. Can't find anyone, so he throws it away. And that will make it second and 10. Here we go. Bridgewater back to pass. Throws. This one will be caught. What a pass by Teddy Bridgewater. Caught by Mike Wallace for the first down. And he steps out of bounds. All right. AP gets the ball, goes right through the center, and he gets no gain on the play. 2.20 left in the first half. Here we go. Bridgewater, medium pass, throws. This one will be caught by Mike Wallace for a gain of 10. And the first down. And that will bring us to our two-minute warning on the first half. So for two-minute warnings, we give them an untimed play. All right. Bridgewater, here comes the pass rush. Can't get away. Charles Johnson launches the pass rush, but Coney Early, or Ile, is going to get the sack. Loss of seven yards on the play. Wow. Second and 17, and that puts him outside of field goal range. That's the untimed play, thank goodness. Here we go. Bridgewater, pass rush again. He eludes it, fires, and barely overthrows. Rhett Ellison, he only needs about 10 yards to get back in to field goal range. Here we go. Back to Pasco's Bridgewater. Fires. Luke Keekley knocks it down. Keekley makes a great job there, but there is a flag on the play. Let's see what happens. Personal foul on the defense. 15-yard penalty. First down, and like that, they're back in field goal range with 120 left on the clock. Here we go. Bridgewater going for the end zone. Can't get it as he overthrows. It looks like Kyle Rudolph by a lot. One minute or ten seconds left in the game. Here we go. Bridgewater back to pass. Throws wide open to Brett Ellison for a gain of 11. And that will make it first and ten from the 19 with 30 seconds left. Here we go. Back to pass goes Bridgewater. Here comes the rush. He eludes it. Fires. Finds Kyle Rudolph, but there is no gain on the play, but there is a flag. Let's see what happens. Holding on the defense, five yards, automatic first down. So it'll be first and 10 from the 14. 30 seconds left on the play, or 20 seconds left. And here we go. Hand off to Bridgewater. Nope, Bridgewater's going to keep it himself. Goes around the outside. He's got nine yards, and it'll be second and one from the five. And the timeout by Minnesota here in the half, making it a 10 second it's on the clock. And they and now we're into our clutch rules. So basically, that means well, we'll talk about it. So as of right now, they have three plays to get either into the end zone. However, it is a bit of a risk. If there is three incomplete passes at all during the sequence, then it's an uh, then the time is up. If it is a um if it's intercepted obviously, then the momentum shifts. It there's just a lot of things that can go on and actually it looks like they're going to send out Blair Walsh for 22-yard field goal to take the lead. Kick is up and it is good. And like that, the Minnesota Vikings have the lead back. And no time will come off the clock. So that was play number one. Here we go. 
this one into the end zone for the touchback. No time comes off the clock for that one at all. So basically, Carolina needs to get out of bounds. Back to pass. Throws. Incomplete. That's strike one. But there is a flag on the play. Personal foul on the defense. Loss of 15 yards. Replay first down. So they got to get out of bounds here. Here we go. Back to pass. Newton can't find anyone. He's going to scramble. This may be the half right here. Did he get out of bounds? No. And that will end it. And score at the half. 9-6 to six Minnesota. And Carolina will be receiving... The kickoff. Let's go ahead and get rid of the kicker grid out of here. Let's look at the stats. Let's look at the team stat comparison. Minnesota is winning first downs. Um, Carolina, however, is winning third down conversions. Offensive yards, Carolina. Average, Carolina. Passing, Carolina. Rushing, 14 for 5. Uh, rushing average. Carolina, because they have more rushes, but they're the same average. Passing Carolina. Uh, average passing Carolina. Sacks Minnesota. Field goals Minnesota. Touchdowns Carolina. Touchdown rush receiving yada yada. Carolina. Penalties 5 for 49 for Carolina. So 2 for 22. So we'll say Minnesota is doing better in that category. Takeaways the Minnesota Vikings. Are winning that one and time of possession the Vikings so there's that and now we will go over here to the box score look at some stats for the, each of the teams Cam Newton only 4 for 11 85 yards Teddy Bridgewater 10 for 20 101 yards AP 10 for 43 Jonathan Stewart 8 for 56 he's been really really good Cautry 2 for 31 Rudolph 3 for 37 so honestly right now I couldn't pick a player of the game even if I had to might be this guy right here, Blair Walsh. Kicks this one, high end over end, four yards deep into the end zone, and they'll take the touchback. All right. No time comes off the clock. Carolina down by three here to start the second half. Cam Newton back to pass, throws. This one will be caught by Mike Tolbert for a gain of nine. So Carolina's looking decent right here, second and one coming up. Hand off to Jonathan Stewart, finds the hole, keeps going, 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 won't get stopped until he gets to the 42. So first in 10 for Carolina. Stewart gets the ball, goes right through the center, gain of five on the play. Good run by Jonathan Stewart, second and five coming up. There, with, Here we go, pitching it to Jonathan Stewart again. Drilled by Chad Greenway, who absolutely overruns Michael Orr. For a loss of one, third and six coming up. Newton, long pass, fires. It's going to be caught by Greg Olson. First time we've called his name tonight for a gain of 32, and there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Defensive pass interference. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First down, so that's a 23-yard penalty. So Carolina is in field goal range and has a way to tie this thing up. All right, Cam Newton, quick pass, fires, is going to be caught by Mike Tolbert for a gain of two yards. Second and eight coming up. Hand off to Tolbert. Tolbert finds the outside. Is he going to get there? No. Michael Orr, once again, cannot give him the block he needs. And that's going to make it third and six from the 27. Here we go. Stewart gets the ball, goes right through the center. Drilled by Eric Kendricks. For a loss of one, that will make it fourth and seven from the 28. And now Graham Gano will come on to tie it up. 45-yard kick. Kick is up, and it is good. Gano ties this ball game up, and this has been very, very interesting. Only one touchdown scored the entire game. That would be a 27-yard pass by Cam Newton. And... Then, of course, Graham Gano blows the extra point. That's why it is not 10 to 9 right now. So they will now give the ball back to Minnesota. This one to the one yard line. It's going to be returned 
by Cardell Peterson. Peterson gets it all the way out to the 24. Sorry, Patterson. 9.50 left in the first in the third quarter. Hand off to AP. He goes around the outside. Only gets a gain of one. Thomas Davis in on the stop. Here we go again. Hand off to AP. Goes This time goes right through the center. Finds seven yards for the, the second down. It'll make it third and two. Here we go. Pitch to... Uh, nope. Hand off to Jer Mc Jarek McKinnon. Goes right through the center. Finds a hole. He's still going. Gets the first down and a whole lot more. Brought down at the 43. First and 10, Minnesota. All right. Bridgewater, first pass to this drive. Knocked down and complete. No, it's not knocked down. He just overthrew Jarek McKinnon. My bad. Okay. Bridgewater. Here comes the pressure. Can't find anyone, so he's got to throw it away. Third and 10 coming up. Own 43. Bridgewater, here comes the pass rush. He steps to the sides, eludes it, fires, and overthrows AP badly for the first down. And it'll be fourth and 10 from their own 43. 7.20 left on the clock, and here comes the punting team. This one, great punt by Jeff Locke. All the way into the end zone for the touchback. So, 10 seconds come off the clock. 7.10 left in the third quarter. Hand off to Tolbert. Tolbert goes around the outside. He gets a gain of four on the play. Second and six coming up. Stewart gets the ball, goes around the outside, and he's going to get stopped just shy of the first down. So third and one coming up. There we go. Pitch it to Stewart. Goes around the outside. He's got the first down just barely, though. First and ten from their own 30. All right. Newton. Designed run for him, goes around the outside. Anthony Barr is there to meet him right at the line of scrimmage. And shoves him out of bounds. No gain on the play. Five minutes left in the third quarter. Newton gets the go for the short pass, fires. This one will be caught by Jericho Cotri. Gain of eight yards on the play. If you saw the very, very exciting game between the Panthers and Washington, you know, you knew, you would know that uh, Carolina barely came out on top in that game, and if they win this one, it looks like it's not going to be easy either. Tolbert, he's going to get the ball, goes right through the center, gain of nine on the play for the first down. Huge play there for the Carolina Panthers. Here we go again. Back to pass goes Newton, fires. This one will be caught. What a catch by Devin Funchess. And that is going to make it first down in Minnesota territory. Tolbert gets the ball, goes right through the center, finds the hole. Great block by Trey Turner to spring him for four yards. Second and six coming up. And here we go. Short pass. Here comes the pass rush. He rolls outside, eludes it, fires, finds Devin Funches, but he's drilled right after the catch. No gain on the play. Shoved out of bounds. Third and six. This would be a long field goal attempt should Gano need to attempt it. Here we go. Newton, back to pass, throws. This one will be caught by Ted Ginn Jr., but he's brought down after only a gain of two. Fourth and four on the 35, so this is in field goal range for Graham Gano. 130 left in the third quarter. Gano going for a 52-yarder. Kick is up, and it is five, four, five. It is good. Just barely. We'll say it literally was tr just hits the inside of the upright and goes through, and the Carolina Panthers have their first lead of the game. Wow, 12 to 9. The score right now. 120 left in the third quarter. Gano puts this one into the end zone for a touchback. And Minnesota will take over on their own 25. Here we go. Back to pass goes Bridgewater. Fires. Intercepted. Kirk Coleman with the interception, and he returns it 14 yards or no yards. A 14-yard pass is picked off. And Teddy Bridgewater 
might have just made the bit one mistake he can't afford to make against this Carolina team. 10 seconds off the clock, 110 left in the third quarter. They're on the they'll start this drive at the Minnesota 39. Here we go. Hand off to Stewart, goes around the outside, gain of four on the play, and he steps out of bounds. And they are on field goal at the exact point that Gano put them in the lead just now. Here comes a quick pass by Newton. Newton fires. Hit by Tol get caught by Tolbert, but he's drilled by Floyd for a loss of three yards. Making it third and nine. Hand off to Stewart. Goes through the around the outside. Artist Payne can't give him the block he needs, and now this will be a long field goal should they try to attempt it. With 20 seconds left in the quarter. And Riverboat Ron's going to live up to his nickname. Oh, no, wait, my bad. That will be the final play of the third quarter. Here we go into the fourth quarter. Riverboat Ron's going to live up to his nickname and go for a long 54-yarder. Kick is up, and it is no good. He missed it. And now Minnesota will get the ball back on their own 44. Wow. Okay, Bridgewater, you got a second chance here, buddy. Back to pass, throws, incomplete. Kurt Coleman makes the stop. Here they go. Pitch to AP. AP goes around the outside. Gain of one on the play, third and nine coming up. All right, back to pass goes Bridgewater. Fires. This one will be caught by Michael Pruitt for a gain of four, and he steps out of bounds. Fourth and five, and they're going for it. Little, some may say it's a little early, but you never know. Bridgewater, short pass, fires. This one will be caught by Mike Wallace. Wallace blocks the defender, and he's still going. He's got the first down. Finally brought down at the 32. Huge play by Mike Wallace. And now they are in field goal range to tie this thing up. He only stepped out of bounds, too, so that means it's 10 seconds off the clock. Bridgewater, back to pass, throws, incomplete. Just uh, barely, Josh Norman barely got his hands on that one. Bridgewater, back to pass, throws. This one will be caught by Jarius Wright for a gain of one, making it third and nine. Bridgewater, back to pass, throws. This one will be caught by Asada, but he's drilled right after the catch for no gain on the play. And here comes Blair Walsh to attempt a long 48-yard game-tying field goal. Kick is up, and it is no good. He needed 48. He got 41. And now they'll get the ball back on their own 38. Artis Payne gets the ball, goes around the outside. Drilled by Brian Robinson and Anthony Barr. Robinson, Robinson, will get credit for the stop, loss of one on the play. Newton gets the ball, back to pass, throws, finds Ted Ginn Jr. for a gain of 10, third and one coming up. Here we go. Artis Payne goes around the outside. He's got one yard, but there is a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Holding on the offense, loss of 10 yards, repeat third down. So instead of it being third and one, it's third and 11, so that's not a very favorable call for the Panthers. Newton can't find anyone. No, he does. Back to pass, throws, finds Greg Olson. Olson, he's got room to run, and he's still going. He is going all the way. They're not going to stop him until he gets to the Minnesota side of the field. Finally brought down to the 42 and steps out of bounds. Huge play by the Carolina Panthers. All right. Newton, back to pass, throws. This one will be caught by Junior, Ted Ginn Jr., for a gain of six. Or, sorry, four, making it second and six. Stewart goes around the outside. Gain of four there, but there is a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul in the defense, 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Or, well, not automatic first down. First down. So, First and 10 from the 19, they can make this thing very, very hard to come back from. Newton, thinking long pass, trying to go for it all, looking around, looking around, can't find anyone, so he's going to throw it away 
right before he's hit. Incomplete pass. Second and ten coming up. Newton back to pass. Throws. Fires a strike to Jonathan Stewart for four yards. Third and six coming up. Stewart back to pass. Or nope, Stewart's going to get the ball. Goes right through the center. Only gets two yards. It's fourth and four from the 13. And now they can go up by six right here. Kick is up, and it is good. Graham Gano gets the field goal this time. We will be right, right back. i got to take care of something really fast. So when we return, we will do the kickoff to the Minnesota Vikings. 8.30 left in the game. Score 15-9, to Carolina. Sorry about that, and we're back. Um, <laughs> the one thing about OBS that I don't like, as you can see, there is no pause recording button. That's the one thing that I would change, um, and I don't have any editing software to edit out that break, so I'm really, really sorry about that. Um, so we will go ahead and continue with our game, and so Gano puts through a 30-yard field goal to put them up by six with eight 20 left in the game. Gano puts this one into the end zone for the touchback. So Bridgewater and crew will take over at 20 on the 25 with 820 left. Here we go. Long pass by Bridgewater. Looking, looking, can't find anyone. Throws it away. Incomplete pass. Bridgewater. Here comes a pass rush. And he's and he is sacked. The fumble and the ball's loose. And Minnesota is saying they have it. Short gets the sack, loss of five yards, and they are saying it's Fusco who recovers the ball for Minnesota. So the referees are saying Minnesota ball, 7.30 left. Here we go, medium pass, fires. This one will be caught by Stephon Diggs for the first down, just barely. Huge play. Stephon Diggs has been coming up with huge plays all night. They need a touchdown, and they know it. Here we go. Bridgewater. Back to pass. Throws. Incomplete. Ben A. Benny. Ben Warrick. On the stop. All right. Bridgewater. Back to pass. Throws. It's going to be caught by Kyle Rudolph for a gain of eight. And Bridgewater starting to get something going. All right. Back to pass. Goes. Bridgewater. Fires. Incomplete. Knocked down by Charles Tillman. And the question is, do you go for it or do you punt it? We know from the past, you may not get an opportunity again, especially with Carolina, but they are going to punt it. So Carolina will get the ball back with 5.50 left to go. Kick 
to the 27-yard line and rolls out of bounds. So Carolina has a ways to go. Let's see if Minnesota can make some stops. 540 left in the game. Hand off to Stewart. Goes right through the center. Gain of one on the play, and there's a flag. Let's see what it is. Holding on the offense. Loss of 10 yards. Repeat first down. So that is huge. So that right there could almost guarantee Minnesota one shot. Here's the deal. If Minnesota can get the ball back with maybe three minutes left or so, get a cut touchdown, an extra point, that would be the game right there. So let's see what happens. Well, Minnesota, you're the number one seed in the NFC. You need to prove why now. Pitch to Fozzie Whitaker. Whitaker goes right through the center. Gain of six on the play. Second and 14 coming up. Hand off to Tolbert. Tolbert goes around the outside, and he is going to get four on the play. Third and 10 with 440 left on the clock. Here we go. Pitch to Snow. Hand off to Stewart. Stewart goes right through the center. Drilled by Eric Kendricks. No gain on the play. Fourth and 10 from their own 27, and they'll get the ball back with four minutes to go. Here we go, this one. Good pump by Nortman to the 24. It's going to be returned in another 28 yards by Marcus Schurles. Finally brought down, and he's brought down in Carolina territory. So Minnesota has a shot. 350 left in the game. Here we go, Bridgewater. Quick pass, he's gonna have to scramble, and he's going to just kind of Go down. No, he'll run out of bounds. No gain on the play. All right. Short pass fires. This one will be caught by Stefan Diggs. Gain of two on the play. Three minutes left to go. Bridgewater fires. This one will be caught by a wide open Mike Wallace. Gain of 13. And they are in field goal range. 2.20 left to go. Back to pass goes... Bridgewater fires. It will be caught by a Jerian Peterson. Gain of five on the play. Second and five from the 28. And that will take us to our two-minute warning. So this will be a free play. Bridgewater back to pass. Throws. And it's incomplete. Nearly intercepted. But we have a potential flag on the play. We do. Encroachment on the defense. Five-yard gain. Automatic first down. So... First and 10 from the 23. That was a untimed play. 140 left in the game. Here we go. Short pass by Bridgewater. Fires. This one will be cut by Michael Pruitt for a gain of 10. And there's another flag on the play. Defensive pass interference. That penalty will be declined. First and 10 from the 13. And there's one minute le left. Or sorry. Since the penalty, that'll take 10 seconds off the clock instead of the... Oh, no. Hold on. Yeah, penalty takes 10 seconds off the clock. 1.30 left on the clock. Here we go. Bridgewater going for it all here. Incomplete. He had Charles Johnson at the three, but Charles Tillman makes a play. But there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Pass interference on the defense. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. So it is now first and goal at the one. One 20 left in the game. Here we go. Hand off to AP. Goes around the outside. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. And the Minnesota Vikings have tied it up late in the game. And they did it hugely. Blair Walsh kick is up. And the Minnesota Vikings are on top. 16 to 15. With 40 seconds left to play. Here we go. This one into the end zone for a touchback. And now we need to see how clutch Cam Newton really is. 40 seconds left to play. Here goes Stewart. Gets the ball. Goes right through the center. Drilled by Harrison Smith for a loss of three. And there's the first time out from Carolina. 30 seconds left to go. Tolbert gets the ball. Goes right through the center. Gets a gain of seven. Third and six coming up. And another timeout by Carolina. Here we go. Short pass. Cam Newton back to pass. Throws. Knocked down by Xavier Rhodes. It is going to be fourth and six from their own 29. 
Here we go. This could be the whole game right here. Ten seconds left to go. So basically, if they get the first down, we'll go to clutch rules. But this is play one of clutch rules. Back to pass. Throws. It is going to be incomplete. Xavier Rhodes knocks it down again. And the Minnesota Vikings are going to win this game. And now all that needs to happen is a kneel down is by Teddy Bridgewater and the game will be over. And the Minnesota Vikings will host the Cincinnati Bengals in the NFC Championship game. What a game. Let's look at the box score. That Adrian Peterson one-yard run capped off a 2.30 drive, but that came at like... Doesn't say here. Oh, there's got to be a way. Team stats. Play-by-play play, right here. That came was right here. That touchdown was huge One with 40 seconds left. Sorry, 1 minute, 20 seconds left. Adrian Peterson comes through big time. Now we need to choose a player of the game. And then it's going to be, it's got to be AP. 14 for 53, not a lot, but he came through big when they needed him to. Mike Wallace, though, I Actually, I'm going to go with Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace is your player of the game here in the final NFC Divisional Round game. Final score here from Minnesota. The Minnesota Vikings win a thriller. Carolina 15, Minnesota 16. They will take on the Cincinnati Bengals in the NFC Championship game. From all of us here at EOSN, thank you and good night. What a game.